Mm. And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me, where today I'm giving you a spoiler-free review of Agent Aieka, the famous and infamous mid-90s OVA, uh, famous for all of its panty shots. Literally, like, every third shot is a panty shot. It's also a wacky spy action-adventure comedy. Nearly every character is female, and that actually makes it kind of interesting in a way, which I'll get to here in a moment. Now, Aika is set in the future, but there's very little difference from modern technology. It's basically 1990 with a few massive floating battle fortresses and some miniaturized technology. That's about it. Now, the animation is actually surprisingly high budget. Uh, action sequences get a lot of animation frames, particularly for guns. And the action is also very clearly framed, so you always know who's facing who, who's attacking who, and what the stakes are. And this gets to one of the really neat things about Aika, because almost all the characters are female, and of course wearing a ridiculously short skirt, nearly everyone is a kick-ass action hero character. Even the mooks are awesome, and the weird thing is, they're awesome for doing the same things male characters do. It's an odd thing, these women look empowered, simply because they're martial arts experts or gun-toting assassins. Simply switching genders makes them remarkable, which is actually kind of sad. Now, because this is an action story, uh, the relationships remain relatively shadow. Our protagonist, Aika, is a level-headed salvage expert, um, and she's trying to protect her subordinate, Rion, who is also the daughter of the head of the company, of course. And Rion is trying to prove herself to Aika, so Rion's always getting into trouble, and Aika's always trying to get her out of it. Now, other characters do have motivations and such, but they remain quite straightforward. Now, one thing I do appreciate about uh, Aika and uh, the, what the writers do is that the characters maintain a level of sarcasm throughout the series. Um, as ridiculous things happen to the characters, um, often fan service, characters will actually roll their eyes and make these sarcastic comments to each other back and forth. It's not quite breaking the fourth wall, it's just characters recognizing how odd the situations are that they end up in. Sorry for murdering the English language there. It's fun. And actually, it gets to a point that the, um, the future of Aika is not particularly realistic either. Um, it's meant to be a platform for girls to threaten each other with guns and kung fu moves and mobile weapon platforms and things like that. And in fact, I want to mention something that happened to me while I was watching the show that uh, was sort of a profound experience. Um, it is a really fun show, as I've been saying, despite all the panty flashes. In fact, the quantity of panty flashes starts to really highlight the ridiculousness of panty flashes. These panty flashes are ubiquitous and completely unnecessary. The, um, uh, the director often will like, uh, plant the camera low, uh, I guess frame it low, um, to sort of point up to characters. It's ridiculous. By the end of the series, while I wasn't sick of the panty flashes, they had become literally absurd. I could no longer look at a panty flash without thinking, what's this doing here? And I suspect that was part of the point. Aika manages to combine fun, kick-ass uh, female characters with this fun, high-octane spy action story uh, that was just fun with a lot of panty flashes. 